Hey everyone, welcome back to the NASCAR Thunder 2002 Championship Build for Race 14 and 36. We're going to Michigan. Uh, last race was Dover, and a lot of people checked up, and that's how I took advantage of the spots early on, or else that race would have not gone to plan. Uh, but anyways, we got by Boobla Booty with about five laps to go, and we went on to win the race. So... Which means at the points, oh, whoops, we gained about 20 points on Jeff Gordon. We're now up by 336, which is really good for me. Because in case if I have a bad race, I finish in the back of the pack or whatever, I got all those points. And that was my fourth win. I think in the video last one, I mentioned my fifth, but no, I got four. Which is, which is not bad at all. But anyway, we're going to Michigan. I tracked that race down to career mode. And I just did practice race right before I did this, so I guess that might have been the, that, that's gotta be the thing for now on. I gotta do a practice race right before I record, and sometimes the recording version turns out better. So, anyway, without further ado, let's jump right into Michigan. We're live from Michigan International Speedway for today's Kmart 400. Michigan always produces some great competition. What do you think? Michigan is a fast track. It's wide, plenty of banking in the turns. Get three wide pretty easily, and that always makes for some exciting race action. Kevin Harvick has improved a little this week, hasn't he? He's improved his standings by a spot. They did not mention me once this entire season. I don't think so. Which is really crazy. But anyway, as far as the setup is, obviously we're going manual transmission. The wedge we're going to lower it down by a round, but everything else is default. And yeah, I guess without further ado, let's jump straight into Michigan. Expecting to do well here. Looks like Kevin Harvick and Mark Martin on the front row. Let's get rolling here at Michigan. And run away at Michigan. Here we go. Green flag. Biggity, biggity, biggity. Let's go racing, boys. I just see they're checking up up here. Oh, boy. Okay. Just want to get through turn one pretty safely. It looks like we're going to do just that. They do check them off for turn two for what I did in my practice race. Gonna expect that to happen here. And it did happen. Which is terrifying, but we got the speed to gain a lot of positions. We're going to lay up a little bit going to turn three because they do check up. Oh, great biffle, okay. Oh, right, not bad. Off the turn four, we're going to complete the first lap. And we are going to be in, oh, oh, 28th. If I get off the apron, because the apron does slow you down in this game. Uh, by yourself, again, like I did in practice, you can't go full throttle. Stay on the bottom, oh boy, okay, no contact. Again, no, oh, they might shut them a little bit. We're getting some free spots, I'll happily take them. We're almost up half the field in two laps. Sorry, 57. I think that's Keller. Jason Keller, if I remember, was in that car. Here we go to the inside. We're up half the field already. Not even two laps in. 37, I'm here. Get on the track. Son of a gun trying to block me. Oh boy, luckily I had some space. And the outside can work at the strike if you nail it right. Here we go, three wide on the bottom. And three spots. I will happily take him. We're going to take it easy here. Oh, sorry, Bobby Hamilton. We're on the outside. Not where I wanted to be, but I guess we'll make the pass up here. We are going to pay it halfway, which is lap five. Uh, I tried to practice, I did a practice race where I pit it as early as I can, which is lap four. And I, and I, oh boy, I, 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 be, I can't speak. <laughs> I almost speak, I can't speak. Oh my God, I can't talk. But I did make it to the outfield barely. That's what I was trying to say. Man, public speaking's hard sometimes. Never took it in high school. But anyways, we're in the top 15. Jeff Burnham down here. And we're up to 14th. 
We're going to pit this time by. We will go for all four tires. Almost got into Michael Moots, but that's okay. Trying to get 13th. We're going to get it. And like I said, we're going to pit this time. There's the 18 up ahead of me. There's Boob the Booty, who I got by, who I passed for the win at Dover last race. Now, here we can floor it down pit road to gain more positions that way. Let's see if we get in our spot. We're going to use the handbrake. Oh, damn it, I sped. Ah, that's what happens sometimes. We're going to go for right sides then, just to save the time. Dead gum! Well, that's the first time that I sped, but I gotta take right sides to save some time. So that means we're gonna have to deal with old left sides. Probably a bad idea, but that's what we gotta deal with. And how worn are my tires? Oh, the left, the left run is really worn. Well, we're gonna have to baby it the best we can. So, all right, here we go. Let's see if we cycle out. We're gonna have to baby it the best we can. But we're gonna go for it. Probably not gonna end well, but let's see if we cycle out. Coming out of a turn four, pit stops are cycling through. Looks like as of right now, we're gonna cycle out in second, but we're gonna see where we truly cycle out. And again, I am on an old left side tires. I only took rights to save some time. It looks like we're doing really well right now with the tire management. And it looks like we're going to cycle out in second. And with a shot to win. On right side tires, by the way. Just to save a penalty, and we got a shot to win, and we're going to take our time. I want to take care of the tires, especially the left front. I want to take good care of it. But still with a chance to win as we're coming to two laps to go. We have a shot to win this. Possibly go back to back. This is like Dover all over again. Remember, I got the I pass Boo 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 with about five laps to go to get the win at Dover. Oh, here we go to the outside. Can we get the lead? Oh, tires are very worn. Oh, boy. We're gonna, that's going to be a thing we're going to have to deal with. We're going to try to pass Kevin on the bottom instead. Here we come to the inside. Forget about the tire wear at this point. But here we go. Off of turn four. We're coming to the white flag. One more lap to go. Here we go for Leon Harvick again. On the inside. And can we get the lead going to turn one? Yes, we can. To the land, Michigan. All right, can the left run make it? Down the back stretch we go. Got one more corner to deal with. We're going to take our time going to turn three. We're going to go for it here. Oh, a little tight. Let's count on the bottom. Oh, he's not off of turn four. Looks like we're going to hold him on. We go back to back wins. As we take the win, Michigan, yes! On right side tires. So it looks like taking rights does work. If I if I if I just took four tires like normal, I wouldn't win that race. So that's why I only took rights to have a chance. So yeah, apparently taking rights does work. Kind of worked. I didn't expect that to work, but it worked. That was a gamble I did to save last time on pit road, just take right side tires, but it worked out for us. And we ended up going back to back. And next is poking on my home track. We're gonna try to go three for three there. You know, there I am getting by Harvard for the win. I think that was the end. Yeah, that was the end. Alright. Yeah, that was quick. Seven minutes. And, and yet yeah, we only, oh, God, dead gum. We only let one lap, the last lap. So Kevin Harvick let half the race, he gets maximum points. Grandpa Martin leads three, and me and Jeff Green both led a lap. I led the last lap, so I get decent points. Uh, Jeff Gordon, we're going to see where he finished. He finished 12th, so we're going to gain a lot of points on him. 
And yeah, without further ado, I guess let's check the points. Alright, looks like I have a 374 point lead going into Pocono. Again, Pocono's my home track. We're up by 374 points over Jeff Gordon heading into Pocono. And here are the awards out to Michigan. Once again, all charged up award. Harvard Devin won rookie of the race. Looks like he won the awards for this one. And, I, and that, for sure, was my fifth win of the season. And next is Pocono. Like I said, my home track. Um, although it's literally on the other side of the state from where I am. So, Well, uh, next is Pocono. Uh, we should do well there, I hope. Um, I mean, it's my home track. We should do well, Pocono. But anyway, next is Pocono, my home track. I'll see you all there. As always, have a good day, everyone. Take care.